Okay, let's talk about War Horse. Fear God! Honor the King! What's your go-to Steven Spielberg story? How competitive he became over atomic farts. We, we you know, we just set them off. <laughs> what, what's that sound? What, what is that? <laughs> and then we showed him the app. And then he was like really competitively doing uh, a sort of Simon Says kind of repetition. So... <laughs> Tom Nelson and I were doing what you were doing. We were on the floor looking at one of the greats <laughs> of cinema that really kind of, oh, oh, God. Uh, trying to win the game by making these ridiculous fart sounds on his iPad. And it was just so <laughs> counter to what I thought that experience was going to be like. We, I, I was hysterical. And then the next day he's like, okay, let's do that oh. charge again. <laughs> this is where you die, you know. And they're like, oh, yes, yes, put the fart out away. Schmauk. Can we just make it very, very clear that you did not just do the voice for this? Like how ridiculous I looked like doing the whole thing. Well, I smell you. And then saying, can I do the whole thing again to Peter? Can I try him on all the way through, Pete? He went, uh, yeah, if you want, <laughs> crazy Englishman. You have nice manners for a thief and a liar. For them, it's another day at the office. You know, they, they've seen it all because of the extraordinary work that Andy Serkis has pioneered in that motion capture realm. I am fire! I am death! It's freeing because you don't have anything else to respond to. You're just literally, in that instance, as smile, just crawling around a carpet, going crazy. There are certain words that I love hearing you say as Smaug. I will show you. Revenge is a cracker, but nothing is as fun as yeah. hearing Peter Jackson try to say telepathic. Telepathic. <laughs> telepathic. 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 Got tight the New Zealand accents. <laughs> telepathic. That's fantastic, Martin. Let's go again. Uh, yeah. Saying I am fire, I am death at the end of the film is quite um, enjoyable. <laughs> He wanted it to be really big, and I, I just kept thinking, no, I think it'd be really terrifying if it's quite quiet. Yeah. And as he swoops silently towards an unsuspecting lake town. <laughs> Serpent, napalm machine that he is. It's horrible, it's horrible. No help will come. That's on his business card. Serpent, napalm machine. Yeah, exactly. That's um, a good job description. Sherlock's business seems to be booming since you and he became Pals, what's he like to live with? Hellish, I imagine. I'm never bored. I'm imagining you with Martin. It's not a case of, you know, anything you can do. Be in The Hobbit, I can appear as a giant dragon. Now that is interesting. And then with the MCU going, well, anything you can do, <laughs> I can be the Sorcerer Supreme. I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. I can be the white guy in Black Panther. You cannot talk. One more word and I will feed you to my children. Yeah, it must have looked a bit like that. I'm kidding, we are vegetarians. <laughs> now, we obviously can't talk too much about Doctor Strange because of, no. you know, spoilers, but I'd like to give you an internet update of what the world yeah, is Yeah, tell thinking. me, because I, I sure as hell don't know. This is the most amazing uh, cosplay I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to play a horse, you really want to be the front end, don't you? <laughs> it's like there's no end of humiliation to being a cloak that's just... <laughs> we really do that. Are you? Bit of asymmetry. And back again. Mm -hmm. But and it's just the way that they're not quite in sync. They're not quite. He looks a little bit like me. It's a very good job. I'd he, agree with that. It's great. But he also looks really pissed off with how the cloak's trying to take over. He's like, like enough, enough. <laughs> uh, don't ruin my light. Uh, that's brilliant. There's a little picture meme, and it says that in just two years, Doctor Strange has done these amazing things in okay. just two years. He's bargained with Dormammu, he's trapped Loki for 30 minutes, had the best battle in the MCU, impersonated a Hindu god, saved Tony Stark's life, and watched Avengers 4 already by imagining it in his mind. <laughs> That's very good. Plus, he has the best cloak in the whole gang. I, I don't disagree. I'm the cat that got the cre I'm very lucky. Really? You want me to? Okay, I'll be the keeper of secrets, and <laughs> I know what's going to happen, and uh, fabulous. You want me to do that in this film? Do you want me to steal this scene and that scene? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Um, I'm Spider-Man, then. No, I'm just feeling a bit greedy now. Okay, I'll have the what they call the Sorcerer's Battle. Fine. 
in the ensemble films, you were expecting to take a very minor key, back foot, not character front and center kind of role. And it's about Tony Stark, it's about Iron Man. He's definitely central to it, as he should be. But I was amazed at how much I got asked to do. Let's jump to the Grinch. Illumination! 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 Illumination Entertainment. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Your American accent, as ever, is excellent. Oh, thank you. But you've got to get the Grinchiness the in Grinchiness. there. The Grinchiness. Yeah, it was interesting. At the beginning, it was very nasal and very, ah, you know, it was just, and it would just sound like he was really angry all the time. And you've got to remember, people who are angry often have fun being angry, or if they're, this story is about the polarities of Christmas. Those who love it, to this guy on his own in a cave who cannot stand it for pretty good reasons, as the film makes clear. I felt there was a bit of Thanos there in terms of wait for it, Ooh, wait for stealing it, stealing from Josh Brolin. Wait there'll be a trouble. <laughs> Gone. In terms yeah. of, I actually am um, kind of on your side. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. The mayor wants Christmas to be three times bigger this year. That means three times the lights, three times the eggnog, three times the information needed. <laughs> That was a good one. Yeah, and also just the fact that this, I'd like to say he's in his 50s, I like to age up for my roles these days, so that people then go, my goodness, you're so much younger in the flesh than you are in the, uh, the pants you wear when you're doing that exercise scene. Yeah, it's just that thing of he has lived a long life, but mm. early on, I think I can say this without spotting, he's sure. an orphan. So, you know, he didn't experience a lot of the joy of Christmas, hence he envies it. Maybe that's why he's green and all the other who's aren't green. Great point. Thank you, Mommy. I had questions earlier. I went, is this, a, you know, is this always some kind of exclusion here? Mm -hmm. is, is this racism or is this actually just, is he just green? He's just green, Benedict. Let's not politicize this film. <laughs> He's green. He's just green. He's just green. <laughs> ah. What mementos have made it back to Benedict Cumberbatch HQ that you've been of in? Of all the ones that we've got here, I definitely, I held on to his jumper for far too long that is... <laughs> did you? Actually, well, I thought, yeah, I don't know why, I just sure. did. This has obviously resurged <laughs> as a natural occurrence on my top lip for a part I'm playing at the moment. Donada here, because we're in Victorian land, but may have kept one of his coats. Mm -hmm. um, Alan. The Enigma what, Machine. What? No, so, the Enigma Machine. Oh, we've run out of time. And Goodbye. that's that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> wow. I hope you've had a lovely interview. Huh. I have. I kept this. I you kept that. that. I actually own that there. That's yours. That's mine. Yeah. Well, Mills to knows that one. Mm. It's a bone of contention. But yes. Let alone Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yeah. So that's well, that's my film. St stealing in a in a nutshell. I don't really. I've got quite a crammed life as it is. I think if I started do. taking gold coins from Smile Gland and pipes from Sherlockville, it just gets a bit silly. And also, people go, "We get it. You were Sherlock. <laughs> we, we know. <laughs> we got, know. There's the pipe. Yes, very good. <laughs> exactly. There was a stage where a bachelor stage where it did, you know, occur to me very frequently when people came around to. The Bachelor Den. It was like, oh God, there are one too many things I've kind of kept, I've, or you know, photographs that Mama said, oh look at this, and I've sort of given to, and I'm like, I'm fan art as well. It became like a bit of a museum of me. It was kind of scary. <laughs> It's like entering an Alan Partridge fan zone, but in reverse, as in yeah. one that he'd built. Benedict, it's been an absolute pleasure. Likewise. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Enjoy Christmas when you get there. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then do watch these videos, or you can listen to my podcast called Radio One Screen Time. Oh, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. You can now get more Radio One in your life by downloading the BBC Sounds app or the BBC iPlayer app. Search for full-length versions of these interviews by typing in Movies with Ali Plum.